Call it what you want. Call me an attention whore. So, hey, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, whichever one suits you. Suits you. If you're new here today, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe. Um, either way, make sure you like this video. It's another weekend vlog. That's all I'm gonna do because what the fuck else do I do during the week besides work? And if I do anything special or entertaining or interesting, then I'll film it. But other than that, it's gonna be the weekend. Right now, I'm about to go into the mall. This mall is super fucking packed, like packed. So I know I'm not bringing y'all in there. Like I mean, I mean, y'all gonna be in my purse, but y'all ain't gonna be with me, like with me talking to y'all, unless I'm able to find a spot where I feel like. I'm comfortable enough to bring y'all out and talk. Um, but honestly, I just want to have a good vibe today. I had bad news this week. And yes, I am pulling socks from my back seat because I have my dirty clothes hampered in the back seat. But these socks are not dirty. I know that my AC loud and the fact that the sun is like behind me. But I got like some basic ass clothing. It was cheap as fuck. It was like $4.99 a piece. So yeah, there's like... Yeah, four ninety nine a piece. It's just a black tank, a black. Let me turn this down. I got some black shorts, real short, real cute. They're like biker style. And then I have a plain, very plain black shirt. Both of them are in a size XS because your girl is still skinty. Regardless of me being one twenty five, and if I want something to fit very tight, I need to get an extra small. So I know it's gonna look real good on me. Like I feel like I'm discovering what I want in like clothing, and I feel like I don't want too much drama, but I want enough drama. Like what I have on right now is so basic, it's so my style, but not my style, and I'm learning that. I think I tried to make other people's style my style because I'm like it looks great on them. And I'm not going to say it doesn't look great on me, but I feel like my shoulders are a huge insecurity for me. And these type of shirts just kind of amplify it. Plus, when I go out in public, I like fashion. I like people to compliment what I have on. You're not going to get a compliment, really, in some basic ass wear. At least I'm not because I don't have the body. Like, I feel like if I had more of a body, things would be, in, like, accentuated define more and then it'll look a lot better and then people will think it's the clothing where really it's your body you get what i'm saying so i'm i'm not that girl i feel like i have a nice petite shape but i don't think it's like anything major i need lip gloss because vaseline is not doing it for me but yeah i need i'm discovering my style and hopefully it develops and i like it but again i know the basics every day all day just i'm not that girl I tried to be that girl, or I thought I was that girl, and I'm not. I need compliments when I go out. I need, oh my God, I like your outfit. Yeah. Oh my God, I think you're so pretty. Those are the two compliments that I fish for from specifically women and gay men. Call it what you want. Call me an attention whore. I'm not really. I just know. If you look good, if you look good, and you're walking up front of, in front of like hundreds of people, you get what I'm saying, and nobody says anything. You could still be eating. Don't get that. Wrong. Don't get me wrong. You, you could still be eating, but I just feel like there is a likelihood that somebody's gonna compliment me if I look bomb. So, yeah. That's the mood I'm on for this. <laughs> Once everything gets settled and I'm like in my own place, I feel like I can start investing back into clothing and get that effect that effect from people right today was a fail we're gonna try again either tomorrow or next week you know. mm. y'all are probably so tired of me being in my car i'm so sorry i'm so sorry your girl just i'm learning the city so i'm just like doing my best but i have a place that i want to go to today i kind of want to be productive in a sense where i'm thinking of things outside of my career as like a backup plan if that makes any sense like getting a second job temporarily so i can save a significant amount of money because i have different goals in my head i don't know if it'll ever come true i don't know if this is just like an impulse thing who knows but i'm gonna feed on it so, I have on the set that I showed y'all yesterday. 
it should it rained earlier i don't know if it's gonna rain again i hope not because i don't want to bring my umbrella in here because then i'll be moving my laptop and then i'm gonna put the umbrella no i don't care about making it's supposed to rain from 12 to 1 and i plan to be in here for like two hours i'm not bringing my umbrella i'm just gonna wait in there if it gets bad and then wait for it to calm down but why did i forget to bring my laptop i forgot to bring I brought my camera, but I didn't film. Um, it was a lot of, it wasn't like a lot, a lot of people. I really could have filmed if I just had a little bit more balls, but I couldn't even get B-roll because I don't like recording people without their consent. And it's like, if you're, I don't know. I just don't like recording people necessarily without their consent if it's in like an intimate place. And I feel like the, the cafe was pretty intimate. Right now I'm parked. Um, downtown and I just want to walk around and just for one get some exercise for two just look around and three just to clear my mind like I feel like I'm very I don't know I'm very everywhere and I was supposed to bring my laptop in there everything just went wrong because I literally did not remember that I had a laptop in my fucking car like so I need to put this shit somewhere it's like I like my job, but I just don't like working. I don't like an obligation to something, you know? I like having my own obligations. Like, that's why I think I like, like, content creation because it's up to me. Like, if I'm not in the best mood, I don't have to do it. Like, I literally don't have to do it. That's why I don't think I will 100% depend on it in the future, even if. I don't know. I'm just talking. But I'm about to go be a walking bitch. So I've probably walked, like a mile or two i'm dragging it probably like one mile and i'm not finding anything like that's sticking out to me besides this wall because i want to take videos and pictures of like things that are just i don't know that screams history i don't know this looks like it I don't know. It takes me a moment to like digest stuff. Whoever did this or whoever, whoever, however many people, they did a great job. Let me just see this. It's crazy that people are actually able to draw, paint, spray, whatever. Let's find something else. So that place is more than likely attached to this art council. So that's cute. I do want to go to a museum one of these days. I just don't know when. But that is a part of the plan. And if I'm bold enough, I'll take y'all with me. It'll get easier over time, I think. Just vlogging by myself. But let's see what what we can see next. I actually don't know what flavor I got. I don't know how to describe this taste. It's giving like vanilla with There's something else. I tried the chai and Oreo. Fucking disgusting. Try not to get vanilla every single time I go to an ice cream spot so I can expand my palate and see what I like. It's a chill spot. That's really what I'm trying to find. Another ice cream spot that's chilling in Jenny's. Jenny's be having too many people. <laughs> But I'm thinking about going to another area to walk around because it's just 12 and I have all day. I don't know. If my camera dies, God, I'm so sorry. But I don't really like it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it tastes like. 
I just took so many pictures of these flowers. Am I getting old? I'm getting old. Because I love them. Yeah, I'm about to head back to my car. I'm in like this walk. Not this walkway, but this promenade looking thing. And it looks like a lot of old buildings. And it smells like piss. Straight piss. I'm going to find somewhere else to tour and look at. I have a lot of cute picture ops that I can take if I get real dressed up. So, that's a good thing. I know for a fact I smell disgusting. I walked for like a good two hours. One hour, I'm dragging it. One and a half hour. Because it wasn't just an hour. But overall, I feel like Durham has a lot of nice looking places. A lot of things to do. Um, I do feel like once I become uh, like acclimated with the area and I find friends, I find people to go out with, the experience will get better. But as of right now, it's just me doing everything myself. And I know for a fact, I need other people. Um, I don't need other people. Other people would make the experience a lot better. And I'm willing to acknowledge that, you know. So hopefully, like I said in my last vlog, I'm able to find friends within a few months of being here. Just so I don't get lonely and also I can experience Durham for its, until its fullest potential. And also the surrounding cities, like, it's not just Durham because everything is so fucking, like, that's fine. I love Virgo school. I am a Virgo, but this song is actually, like, amazing. I don't even acknowledge that it's, like, six fucking minutes long. Like. But, yeah, that's what we got for downtown. Pretty sure there are other things that other people would find to be like memorable and beautiful and I'm not saying that those things don't exist but as of right now for me how this person is parking is kind of giving me the ick so I'm gonna move. I don't really know if y'all can see it clearly but it is starting to rain but it's like I have my umbrella I don't feel like being in the house right now so we're gonna keep exploring. <laughs> 